Hi guys, so in this video I'll be telling you guys some of the programming languages that you should learn in 2024. So without wasting any time, let's get right into it. So the first programming language that you should be learning is Python. So there are a lot of reasons why people are actually learning Python as their first programming language. And the main reason for this is because Python is really easy to learn. It's basically English, right? So it has English terms in there. So the first language that I'll recommend you guys to learn is Python. So with Python, you can actually do machine learning and AI. So if you're a person who wants to get into artificial intelligence or do machine learning, then you can learn Python. Also, if you are a web developer or you want to become a web developer, you can use Python to do backend development, right? So as you can see, you can do a lot of things with Python. Also, people who are doing data analytics and data science, they are also using Python as the main language that they're using for their day-to-day -day job, right? So another field that you can get into with Python is game development, right? So you can build games using Python. So as you can see, Python can be used in a variety of fields. So once you know Python, there are a lot of fields that you can get into, right? So that's the first language that I recommend you guys to learn, right? If you've never done any programming before and you want to choose a programming language, you will not go wrong with learning Python. All right, before we continue, if you're new to this channel, my name is Katlero. I'm a self-taught software developer. And on this channel, I share some tips and my experience of how I became a software developer in order to make it easy for you guys to get into the field and get inspired and also motivate you guys right if that sounds interesting to you guys make sure you subscribe to the youtube channel and hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever i release new content and also don't forget to like the video guys all right let's continue then the second language that i recommend you guys to learn is javascript just like python there are a lot of things that you can do with javascript but javascript thrives with web development right so you can build web applications with JavaScript, right? And you can do both the front end and the back end. But with Python, you can only do the back end. But with JavaScript, like there are a lot of frameworks for the back end and the front end, right? So if you want to get into web development, you'll never go wrong with learning JavaScript. And you'll probably learn JavaScript anyway, even if you don't want to, right? Because that's the language that is used on many websites that you see on your day to day basis. Then also, if you want to get into machine learning AI, there are frameworks that you can use with Node.js that are specifically for doing AI machine learning so you can also do that with JavaScript so once you know JavaScript also you can do a lot of things then also if you want to get into mobile app development in JavaScript is the first step because you can build apps for both the Android and iPhone right so you don't need to learn different languages to do those things or to build apps for Android and the iPhone apps so you can learn just JavaScript then you can build both the Android and iPhone apps right but there are other languages that you can learn to build apps for Android and iPhone right then another language that you should learn is C or C++ right so the apps or the softwares that you see on your desktop so the desktop applications or desktop softwares are built using the C language right because Microsoft are using the C language to program or build their applications or their softwares that you see on your computer right so if you want to build desktop apps or desktop softwares then you should learn C++ because it will make it easy to build those desktop applications although there are other languages even with JavaScript you can build desktop apps but it will be appropriate to use the C language to build the desktop apps or the desktop software right and also you can use the C language to do game development and that's where it thrives because in unity mostly the programmers are using the C language to build the games so this will make it easy for you to get into game development and actually get a job then another language that I recommend you guys to learn is the Java language and I know a lot of people who have never done programming before like they can't really separate JavaScript and Java and those are completely different languages so just that they have the word Java in them yeah I recommend you guys to learn Java and with Java you can build mobile apps like it thrives in building apps for Android with Android Studio so that's where they actually write the code and build the apps for Android also you can do backend development for websites so there are backend frameworks that you can use to actually build like API for web applications right so you can do backend development with java as well so the next language that you should learn is typescript and typescript is basically just javascript but it makes javascript strict with javascript you can do a lot of things and javascript won't throw errors at you so you won't know where something went wrong 
as you're writing the code. So with TypeScript, while you're writing the code, it will tell you something wrong will happen if you continue writing the code that you're writing. So you fix that error while you're there, while you're writing that specific code on that specific line of code, right? So that's why a lot of companies actually recommend you to learn TypeScript because like it makes the process of fixing bugs easier, right? Once you know TypeScript, you can get into game development. I've seen in Unity that you can use TypeScript. So once you know TypeScript, you can do game development. And also obviously, if you know TypeScript, you can get into web development and also into mobile development, right? Because in React and in Angular, you can use TypeScript. So it'll compile everything back to JavaScript. But while you're writing the code, you'll be using TypeScript, right? TypeScript is actually the language that a lot of companies are recommending their people to learn. So once you know TypeScript, you'll be ahead of other people who don't know TypeScript because the companies are looking for people who already know TypeScript, right? Then the last language that I recommend you guys to learn is SQL. So with SQL, you can do a lot of things, but it's not really like a programming language where you can build apps and everything. It's just a language for the database where you can actually query the database to store the data, manipulate the data, and also you can extract the data or get the data from the database and display it on web application or the mobile application or the desktop software, right? So once you know SQL, you can get into a lot of fields. So some of the fields that you can get into is data analytics. So if you want to be a data analyst, then you should definitely learn SQL because that was the language that you'll be using to query the database on your day-to-day -day basis, right? Also, if you want to get into mobile development, I recommend you to learn SQL, although there are other databases that you can use, but I recommend you to learn SQL because a lot of companies are still using SQL as their main language for querying the database. Also, if you want to do web development, if you want to get into that, you can also learn SQL. Then also, if you want to do data administration, then you should learn SQL as well. So yeah, those are the languages that I have for you guys that you should learn in 20 24 you definitely be ahead of other people because other people are still learning the languages that are no longer like that popular like a lot of companies have moved to the languages that i mentioned in this video you can't really get a job as a web developer if you know ruby of course the other companies that are still using ruby but they've moved on to other languages that are mentioned in this video so if you want to get a job it'll be easier if you know some of the languages that i mentioned in this video for the specific fields that i mentioned for that language right so yeah yeah, that's gonna do it guys if you haven't done this yet make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel and hit the bell icon so you're notified whenever i release new content and also don't forget to like the video guys all right that's gonna do it guys thank you guys so much for watching have an awesome day bye